So YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, to no one's surprise at all, uh, the Ravens, the Baltimore Ravens have re-signed Roquan Smith to a five-year, $100 million deal. Yes, that is 20 mil per year. That's a lot of money for a linebacker. Uh, but Roquan Smith, when they traded for him, he made his impact immediately. Like right away, you felt the presence of a Roquan Smith. And something that we always talk about on here, you want players that make everybody else's job around them easier. Ravens have been looking for that guy at inside linebacker for a long time. Uh, they thought they had it with C.J. Mosley, and C.J. Mosley was pretty good, just didn't have that explosiveness to him. But overall, he's a pretty good linebacker. And the Ravens tried to re-sign him, but wasn't enough money. He ended up going to the Jets, and he'd been doing his thing over there. Uh, and then they, they tried here and there. They tried with a Patrick Queen, uh, with Patrick on Wasu. They had Josh Bynes, LJ Ford hold it down for a little while, uh, Kenny Young. So they've been trying different projects, but it just it hasn't all come together yet. But then in the middle of this season, right before the trade deadline, the Ravens, they traded their second and a fifth and A.J. Klein to acquire Roquan Smith. And I remember some people thinking, oh, man, he's just a rental. But we said from jump, Roquan Smith is no rental. Like, come on now. These are the Baltimore Ravens now. Come on now. They're not bringing in him for the half the year and being like, all right, Roquan, bye. No. You knew that wasn't going to You had to know that wasn't going to happen. And then the report came out a couple of months ago that the Ravens were trying to get a deal done with Roquan Smith before the regular season was up or before the during the season. They got it done now. And again, when you want to make something happen, you can find a way to make it happen. So let's just read the report from uh, Ian Rappaport. It says, per St. Omni, the Ravens agree in principle with all pro linebacker Roquan Smith. Now the highest paid at his position in NFL history. We're going to talk about the, the other one who could be the highest paid at his position in NFL history. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But first, um, now the highest paid at his position in NFL history with a five-year, $100 million deal. 45 mil, fully guaranteed. So that's the most important part is the, the guarantee part. Because, uh, yeah, five-year, 100 mil, 20 mil per, that looks great. But the real stuff is the guarantee. That's where the real money is. Because it's, it's, it's worth up to 100 mil. So, of course, there's going to be incentives and this and that, but the guarantees are the money that they get no matter what because it's guaranteed. So, uh, 45, mil, 45 mil fully guaranteed and 60 mil in total guarantees. Huge. The first off-ball linebacker to get 20 mil per year. I get Ro Roquan's a dog, so now the dogs, they going crazy for that dog Roquan right now. They feeling the contract. They like it. They like it. Look at them. They like it. They like it. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Uh, okay. Anyway, let's let's proceed. Uh, hey, stop. Anyway, continuing. So, um, I, when I first saw the tweet, I had to I had to make sure it was real. Because it, it sounded believable. I was like, man, the person who wrote this, they worded it perfectly. Uh, but it, it was directly from Ian Rappaport. And it said, with Roquan Smith locked in, the Ravens keep the franchise tag available for Lamar Jackson. Um, so, transferring to Lamar Jackson. Well, before we talk about Lamar Jackson, how this could possibly impact Lamar Jackson. I just hope that this season, it goes a little differently than the last time that the Ravens traded for a player that made an Im immediate impact uh, on their team, on their defense in the middle of the season. Uh, I hope this playoff game goes different than that playoff game did. Because remember last time, remember when they traded in 2019 for Marcus Peters? Made an immediate impact right away. And then um, he got re-signed to a contract extension right before the playoffs. And yeah, but the, this should be different. Um, but now, Lamar Jackson, because I know that's going to be on a lot of people's minds, as it should be. How does this impact Lamar Jackson? Now, I know first there's going to be a lot of people saying that this is not right. How could they sign this guy? This guy ain't even been here for five months, and Lamar Jackson been here for five years and ain't even get a deal yet. I get that. Um, but specifically to this year, because context is important, 
They just brought in Roquan Smith. They loved Ro- Roquan Smith. They had seen him plenty of times up close, up close and personal. Um, but this year, they brought him in, and their intention was to keep him around for a long time. Now they got him re-signed to his contract extension. Um, but with Lamar Jackson, uh, remember, we got to remember, Lamar Jackson did say he's not negotiating during the season. He said that. And Lamar Jackson has been a man of his word. So you got to take his word for what it is. It's his word. He said it, after week one, he done talking. After the season, okay, cool, we'll get back to it. But he said after week one, he just focusing on football, and that's it. So I know people have been like, oh, man, Lamar Jackson, he, ain't, he, he, he shouldn't negotiate his deal. He shouldn't step foot until he gets his deal. He said shouldn't be back on the field until he gets his deal. And I, I get that. But, again, he said he wasn't negotiating during the season. So that's that part. Now, uh, the other part, this – a lot of us, especially myself, felt like this offseason is headed for the Ravens to franchise tag Lamar Jackson. Um, but this, this allows them to put their more focus, hopefully a whole lot of focus, on re-signing Lamar Jackson. And this, this knocks a huge domino out of the way for the Baltimore Ravens. This knocks it out of the way because... The, the two biggest dominoes for the Baltimore Ravens this offseason, Lamar Jackson, Roquan Smith. Those are the, the two biggest ones. And they got Roquan Smith taken care of. It's Lamar Jackson time now. Are the Ravens going to be able to do it? I, I got my doubts. I really do. But we'll see when we do. Um, but this does, the franchise tag is, is where I've always felt like this thing was going to go. Um, especially during this season. Looks like that's where it's headed. And that's, again, that's whether Lamar stays or he ends up going somewhere else. It's, it's going to be whatever's going to happen is most likely going to happen through the franchise tag. Whether, um, unless the Ravens could just somehow come up with some crazy great agreement and Lamar agrees to it, Ravens agree to it, they like, all right, let's get it, baby. But I don't know, I, I just, for some reason, I don't see it. Um, but the franchise tag, it works in a couple of different ways. Uh, if, if they want to buy themselves more time to get a contract extension done, you franchise tag them. If you end up wanting to trade him, you franchise tag them. The, the franchise tag is not that it's inevitable, but it seems like that's the route that it's going to, it's going to, it's going to take. Now, um, what them knocking out this Roquan Smith deal also does it, it gives you a better projection as far as cap space and numbers and stuff. You have the specifics for the Roquan Smith deal now. You got that hammered out. And that's the, the, the biggest deal that you're going to be giving out. Well, the second biggest deal that you're going to be giving out this offseason. It could end up being the biggest deal. We'll see. But since you got the, the, you got the specifics, you got the detailed numbers on that, now you can be like, all right, if, if you're going to get this thing done with Lamar Jackson, or at least if you're going to try, if you're going to try to get it done with Lamar Jackson, all right, you know more of what you're working with next year. Obviously, some things are going to change. Players are going to be released, traded, signed, blah, blah, blah. The cap probably going to go up most likely. But you got more of an idea. So it's cool, man. So I'm, I'm cool with it. Again, Roquan Smith, he's done his thing. Now, Ravens, hey, y'all show us all the time. Like, oh, yeah, you're going to spend that bread on defense. Let's do it on offense now. At those special positions too. Just the hey, hey, like the why not? Why not? Cause right now the offense, some of those significant high paid players, Ronnie Stanley, um, Mark Andrews, and those are definitely difference makers, especially Ronnie Stanley. Mark Andrews, sometimes he could be up and down. It all depends. Um, but get get your quarterback taken care of, man. Get your quarterback taken care of financially and then take care of your quarterback. So we'll see how things go. Uh, but this does make things a lot, well, not a lot, but a little bit easier for the Ravens heading into the offseason. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. appreciate y'all. And like Roquan Smith won't be when it comes to being in Baltimore anytime soon, we out.